While watching this video, you will learn how to design and prepare for the production a full denture with teeth connected in a block. 3Shape Dental System enables you to design a full denture in multiple configurations. You can design both the upper and lower denture at the same time, or work on a single denture only. While making the design, you can decide to connect all teeth in one block, and later produce the denture by milling, printing, or a combination of both methods. The decision on how you'll manufacture should be taken while creating the order. If you decide on milling the order, you should follow this workflow. Mark the teeth and go to Gingiva to select Dentures Gingiva. Then select Material for Milling and set the type of production base with Design Teeth. Now add Anatomy. The artificial tooth will be selected automatically. Then set its material, color and manufacturing process. Then go to Bridge and select Connect a Bridge to connect the teeth. You can define more than one bridge per jaw if needed. Once the order is ready, you can proceed with scanning and designing. When the models have been scanned, go ahead with the designing steps. As a default, you'll get to the Model Analysis step. However, if any adjustments of the scans are necessary, for instance, tooth removal, you can move back to the Prepare step to use its toolkit. While in Model Analysis, at first, you need to define the occlusal plane with the help of three control points. Keep in mind that placing the second point defines the direction of the front teeth. Now, define the characteristic points. Click Next. Select the Draw Outline button and then use a pencil to draw the line of the denture. Do this for both jaws. Moving on to the Surveying and Blocking Out step, the software will calculate the proposition for the insertion direction, showing also the undercuts on the model. If you're going to make a try in denture, you might need to block out any undercuts with the help of wax. You can skip this option if this is something that you don't need. In the next step, you can use any type of teeth from the Smile Composer libraries. Just choose one and click Apply. Use all the available design tools to design the dental arch position. Then click Next to get to the base step, where you can change the base thickness and create relief zones if necessary. To shape the gingiva more accurately, use Gingiva Aesthetics. Select the template of gingiva that you want and either leave the default settings or change using the custom settings. Click Preview to see the results. Click Next to get to the Anatomy Design step. Use its tools to work on the connectors if necessary, or only on teeth while in the Sculpt Anatomy sub-step. You can change the shapes of teeth as you wish. You're not limited to the library shapes when you print or mill teeth. At that step, you can also use the Virtual Articulator to adjust the dynamic occlusion. When the occlusion is ready, move on to the Sculpt Denture Base step, where anatomy of the gingiva can be adjusted if necessary. In the Coupling Mechanism step, you can design the interface of the connection between the denture base and the teeth block. Use the default values or set your own depending on requirements. Adjust the connection depth, angle, insertion direction tilt, as well as the rounding radius and fillet radius. When finished with this setting, click Next to get to the Pre-Manufacturing Settings, where you can adjust the settings for the denture base connection. Among these settings, you'll also find minimum thickness under the teeth and glue space, as well as other parameters of pockets related to milling, such as drill compensation and drill radius. Do the same for the lower jaw if required. When done, click Next to get to the Save step to save the design. When you close the case and generate the CAM output, you can explore the outcomes of the design in the previously defined way. In the CAM folder, you can find models to mill or print teeth and the denture base. And in the same folder, you can find the models to manufacture a try-in also. You can manufacture a try-in and send it to the doctor 
and if no adjustments are needed, then the cam output for final prosthesis is ready for manufacturing. Now you should know how to use the teeth in a block option in denture design. To learn more, we do recommend watching other videos suggested in the description box. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.